Hello everyone, welcome back to another one of John's never ending list of random things to do. And for today's video, I will be working on a 1985 Toyota Celica Supra. This door pocket has seen better days, well, let's get that fixed today. The first thing you're going to need is some type of prying tool, or maybe even a flathead screwdriver. Now you want to pry off this tab right here, and this one here as well. Now using a Phillips screwdriver, you want to remove this screw right here. This screw right here as well. If you pull this tab down, it will reveal a hidden screw down here. Remove that one too. Now remove this screw. And now to remove the door handle trim. Pull the door handle, slide the trim, and then pull it out. Remove this screw right here to remove the courtesy light. I place my finger right here so the lens doesn't fall down. And carefully remove the courtesy light. The fourth and last large screw is located right here. As you can see, mine is missing. But if you do have it, remove it. Now proceed to remove the connection. Press this tab and wiggle it out. So now I'm just going to put my finger in here and then pull it out and then work my way all the way around the door trim. Now slowly pull the bottom portion towards you and make sure nothing gets caught and if it does release it and then pull the rest out. Remove this clip here as well, press the tab and then separate them. So this is the old elastic band right here and this is the new one. It will be linked in the description below. In order to perform this installation I use the special tool. It's called a coat hanger. I'm just going to bend it straight and feed it through this hole until it reaches through the other side. As an experiment, I chose to cut the length of my elastic band to 20 inches and I'm just going to tape it on really good. Alright, and now it's ready to be pulled through. And watch it go through. Once it's reached the other side, disconnect it from your special tool. So one end of the elastic band is going to go through this hole right here. The other end is going to go through this hole right here. So this is how it should look like. One end here, one end here. Now you can choose to sew these pieces together like this, or you can even choose to staple it back on, just like how Toyota did it. Well, I'm just going to tie a knot right here. And now my door trim is ready to be reinstalled. You want to make this connection right here first. Then proceed to reinsert the top portion of the door panel. Align the retainers. And then bang it into place. Now before installing the courtesy light, you want to install the 4th large screw located right here. Once you've done so, fetch for the courtesy light cable and make the proper connection. Reinsert the courtesy light and then screw it down. Don't screw it too tight or you're going to crack it. Reinstall these 3 big screws, one here one here and don't forget the last one hidden under here now you can put this tab into place and this one here as well and for the last piece the door handle trim pull the handle open and slide the trim into place now screw it down and be careful to not tighten it too tight or you'll crack your trim And would you look at this, within a few minutes we made this old pocket brand new again and usable. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, maybe even consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys for the next random project.